Hey guys, I'm Adam Queen, a photographer of 23 years. Uh, I'm here to review the 150 to 600 Sigma. It's a brand new lens out on the market. Well, it hasn't even been released yet. It should be out in late August. So I took this lens out. I was shooting down this canal today. I was taking this nice, beautiful image of this tree hanging over the water. And I, I thought I saw something in the tree and I zoomed up in to see what it was. And it was this just massive iguana hanging out there. I don't think I ever would have been able to get that close if it wasn't for this uh, 600 millimeter. Being able to use the 600 millimeter focal length uh, is a nice feature because you're able to stay far away from your subject matter and not be able to uh, scare them away. Overall shooting with the, this new Sigma lens, the sharpness, uh, the quality of the image was phenomenal. The sharpness of the lens is great. Um, it, was, it seemed like it got sharper as you zoomed in, which isn't normally um, typical for a lens. Uh, and the focus fall off or the bokeh was um, pretty phenomenal. Overall, the build quality on the Sigma, the new Sigma lens is pretty phenomenal. It's very robust, uh, it's a very sturdy lens, um, which does lead itself to be a little bit on the heavier side. The good thing is that uh, this lens does come out, come with a sturdy tripod mount, uh, which means you can just put it up and wait for the action to come to you. Uh, I was very, uh, very surprised on the autofocus. I didn't expect this to be a very quick lens, but uh, it changed my mind uh, very quickly. I got some shots of uh, these random guys riding dirt bikes down the street. Uh, you know, I was able to focus on them really quick uh, as they zoomed right by me. Adding on to that, uh, being such a heavy lens, uh, to be able to hand hold at an 80th of a second is pretty impressive for such a, a heavy lens. While I'm overall very impressed with this lens, um, it is, uh, I, I would like to see a couple improvements down the road maybe in the next generation, uh, maybe just a slightly bit lighter of lens um, so you can hand hold it a little bit longer. Another thing I'd like to see improved on this lens would be the aperture. I'd, I'd like to see uh, a little bit of a wider aperture, but I could see how with the current aperture that they were able to keep the prices lower uh, and the build quality still substantial. I think this lens would be beneficial for the nature photographer or the action sports photographer. Uh, it would be great with the long focal length to be able to zoom right into the action or uh, with the quick autofocus to be able to track a bird flying across the sky. Hey, so I think uh, this lens is great for either the hobbyist or the professional, especially at the price point that it's coming in at. Um, if you're a hobbyist and you're just going out on the weekend shooting some birds, this lens is gonna rock it for you. Uh, if you are the professional and you're going out to shoot sports, um, you'll be able to track your players running down the field uh, with the amazing autofocus and um, get right into the action with the long zoom length.